goodbye to this life Struggling and fighting Just getting by screaming Because the Course is really saying, you know, just open yourself to the holy instant and say to God, be you in charge, I, for I would but follow. And, you know, this is a journey that we can't really look, we can't really look to history to show us how we're going to take this journey. We have to rely more on our feelings and our emotions and our experiences. And we feel our heart opening up and we go, okay, something good is happening. This is a good direction. We feel that gratitude to start to pour out and that love and it just lets us know we're on the right direction. So in one sense that's really helpful because um, yeah, the Spirit can speak through your brothers and sisters and it's very much that if you have something that you're kind of blind to but you have a real sincerity to an openness then the answer can come from any direction in many directions and that's something that I found was always so beautiful about these kind of retreats and even about traveling. What, an, what a glorious first trip. Go meet those that have dedicated their life to the Course. So if there was any kind of fear or doubt or embarrassment or shyness or confusion or whatever, and you're sitting down at their kitchen table, you know, and Robert's saying, can I fix you an omelet? Okay, that's great. I'm happy to be in the kitchen just talking and listening how it's going in this practice of this, this book, A Course in Miracles. So I think that's what my wish for everyone coming here is that may this be eminently practical. Because we're really unwinding from a self-concept that has been a preoccupation. This for all of us, we we seem to come to this world, we seem to make a self-concept, and for a lot of us, we, we got pretty good at it, you know, we, we even met the world on the world's terms and became what the world would call somewhat successful. And then, at some point, went, hmm, like Sue was saying, Susan was saying, there's something underneath, there's something's not right. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing this well, and everybody's telling me I'm doing this well, why don't I feel this bursting sense of fulfillment? Why is there still something shaking underneath there? It's just an inkling of, hmm, there's a healing that needs to occur. And like Craig was talking about, just falling apart. Just, like I thought of the scarecrow and the, the Wizard of Oz when he gets all the straw knocked out of him and it's just mm -hmm. all over the, the road in the, the Wizard of Oz movie. And then his mighty companions are there. It's hard to scoop up the straw and stuff it back in there, you know, and get him back up on the yellow brick road. You know, that's a beautiful little symbol there of, of allowing yourself to just fall apart and as, as you've known yourself and crack open. And we were talking a little bit about New Year's Eve and and New Year's resolutions and everything, and what, what would be given up for the new year, and Ricky said, mm -hmm. what, <laughs> you want to tell them what you're going to give up for 2014? Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to give. <laughs> She's just been peeling off every day a little more, and so, and then there's so much you know, there's humility, there's it's humbling, and but then it's so joyful. Mm -hmm. Like Frank, Saint Francis, as little children, you know, it's kind of like that. I don't know anything, and then that just awareness that I can't give anything to myself. I would be even close to what Spirit's doing, you know. So, so Ricky's just got to go. She does not know her own best interests, and she's. Mm -hmm. She's a, yeah, <laughs> she's crazy. <laughs> she's all over the place. <laughs> it's all been used too. There was a time where it's like Ricky goes to Europe, which was that was an adventure. Curious George goes to Europe. <laughs> yeah, and this, the guitar got lost, and all kinds of things that were 
shaking, the falling apart that Craig was talking about there, and then, and then Vicky goes to Sweden, and we had our talk in Sweden, you know, she said, what are my next steps? What are my next steps? And, no, no, it's, nothing's coming yet. It's not yet, and then we went to England, and then, yeah, then the download came to go to Spain. Ricky goes to Spain, and you should, so, but now it's, you're just seeing it's more the self-concept of identifying with, with Ricky. That's where the struggle comes in, heaviness. But the willingness to follow, follow, follow the guidance, and then start to be brought to a point where you start to say, oh, if there's any kind of personal involvement in anything, it gets to be, the Christian was saying, harder and harder, more of a, an extreme, you're more sensitized. And I know Nikita's been talking about that too, about how the rug got pulled out from under her, and then you've had some of those experiences pretty recently over in Hawaii, and then coming to the States, and just lots of devastations more recently, but we had one conversation where Ricky said, David, you know I'm willing. You know it. You know I'm willing. You know I'm willing. I said, yeah. But you're not ready. Devastation. Yeah. <laughs> I was devastated when he said that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had was, to look at it, and it wasn't. It? Yeah, and so it was. It was another time of kind of devastation and so forth. But then through all that, it was like the rug getting pulled out. And then, then there's this experience of like accepting the gifts, mm -hmm. the humbleness, the and accepting the gifts, the surrender, everything just started to come in really fast mm -hmm. after that seeming devastation, and then we were actually, several weeks ago, we were actually able to say, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of caught up, you know, and, and you knew it, you felt it. And then there was no going back and thinking that something could have been different, or you made any wrong turns, or you made mistakes, or looking at it from the typical ways of the world, you know, just looking at the scorecard going, oh, the scorecard doesn't look good. It was. It was just the joy, the rejoicing of I'm ready. It's like hand in that school card. <laughs> yeah, oh, totally. Give it over. Yeah. Ready for what? Ready for the next, the next step. And whatever it is, just like, very new. Whatever it is, like knowing that, just like pull the rug again. Okay, because yeah, we just we can't stay where we are. And I would have literally stayed in hell um, recently. I thought I was safe there and comfortable, and I was just looking for more hell and more comfort. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just, yeah, I, actually, I just surrendered. Like, I was like, I'm just going to do what, try this given thing on, like, you know, and just pretend like that what, what's in front of me is supposed to be there and then buy it for a second. But <laughs> I didn't. I was like, you have got to be insane. You know, this is not... Yeah, I just couldn't believe any of the gifts were for me, and so, yeah, I have been wrong. So now it's just exciting. I really don't ever have to, you know, fight what's given again or question it.